Hey guys, it's Bailey and I'm back with another vlog and today I'm going to be talking all about Tory Conference and also what conferences look like at Biola. I know you're wondering, Bailey, what even are the Biola conferences? Glad you asked. So what's really cool about Biola is our priority on our faith integration and how most of our students do minor in theological studies. So a way we kind of live that out is that once a semester we have Tory Conference in the fall and Missions Conference in the spring is that we take um, a half a week off from school and actually just dive into um, a conference that is um, hosted at Biola University so yeah like what that looks like is a Wednesday through Friday we actually don't have school in that we um, are asked to attend five chapel um, conference sessions and you are even invited to attend more I know I am always attending more sessions um, based on the topic it's just a really cool dedicated time to just kind of take a break from the stress um, and complications that arise with being in school and just really take a break to reflect and just it's typically toward the start of the semester and so it's a great way to kind of get your heart on track and just uh, really connect with the Lord and really just be surrounded by your Biola community. As you guys are probably well aware, we are currently not at Biola. Most of us are living at home and experiencing Biola at home, um, which is definitely different. So I know Tory Conference for me in the past has been really exciting and just a really fun time. I just remember my first year For All Seasons played. They were the band and I love For All Seasons. They're a band that is Biola alumni and yeah, they're just really cool. So I was totally fangirling over them and just, it was really cool for me to see um, just kind of really dive into community and have uh, more time just dedicated to growing and learning um, what God was teaching us um, in that time and just yeah a really cool time to get together as community so I've always loved Tory Conference and it will always hold a special place in my heart. So even though things look a little weird and different and we are in unprecedented times, the Tory Conference is still happening. We actually just wrapped it up and what's really cool is that we were able to access it online. So instead of having requirements, it was just like our chapels that are all online right now where we can actually watch them at your own time. So what this looked like was me watching a session at my house with my dog or maybe um, watching it in a coffee shop. But it was a cool way that I could, when I was stressed and overwhelmed with homework, I said, you know what, it's Tory Conference week, I really want to dive into that. So we still had classes all week long but we were also able um, to attend three uh, Tory specific um, sessions and watching it online and I will be completely honest that it, w it is a little hard sometimes to engage with that. Um, it only makes me more thankful for my experiences at Biola and how much I miss it and I'm excited to go back to campus hopefully soon but yeah I just think it was interesting and unique to experience it online but it was still Tory and I still think that God was speaking a lot to me and my peers. So what's really cool about Story is that the theme this year was glory to God and I think that has a lot of different layers and it was really cool kind of when I watched one of the first sessions that um, Emily from For All Seasons talked about even though we're at home we're still able to be together we are united as one all as one still but just it looks a little different now but still I think glory to God was actually a really huge and applicable theme for this year I'm actually reading a book right now um, that's kind of talking about how the gospel kind of affects how we do things but I think a huge thing that I've been reading about in my Bible classes and in my classes in general and what books I'm reading is that we can do all these little things for the glory of God and I think sometimes I know I can be discouraged I'm like I'm at home I'm in my room I don't have peers around me but you can still do those things even um, through online um, school you can still even in the little things, how you take a test, how you do your homework, those things are super applicable even to us as high school and college students is that we can do everything for the glory of God. So I personally really loved the theme and I'm kind of excited to kind of take those things that I've learned and apply them to real life. Like I said, I'm currently reading this book called What's Best Next? A friend from Biola actually gave it to me for my birthday. Um, it's that by Matt P Perman. But it's talking about how the gospel transforms how you get things done. And it's all about bringing the glory to God. So for me, it was really cool to kind of see things I love, like reading and also seeing Biola kind of talk about this theme is really cool. And I think I want to encourage you guys as well that even you are in high school, maybe you're um, at a different university, you're going to look to transfer to Biola. But you can, all those little things you do, um, whether you're driving, whether you're picking up food, you're in a grocery store, you're doing your homework, you're on a Zoom class, there are so many little ways that you can give glory to God. And for me, that's kind of what Biola at Home is all about. The conference, uh, the Tory conference this year really kind of um, 
confronted me about what does Bible at home look like and what does it look like to bring God's glory. And I think sometimes it's as evil of even through a mask, just smiling at someone you see in public, maybe it's a wave, saying good morning to a neighbor, um, reaching out to a friend through FaceTime or Zoom or anything like that. But there are so many little ways that you can just shine with the light of Christ. So yeah, once again, Tori was really cool this year. Definitely a different format, but I'm still really thankful that we were able to um, experience it, even if it looked a little different. So yeah, that was just a little bit about Tori and about my Bible at home experience so far. So yeah, I just want to encourage you guys to maybe find one way this week to kind of just show God's glory and even the little tiny things, because those things can go a long way. So yeah, I hope to see you guys again soon on the vlog. Bye!